Hi everyone, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sandia. And there's a couple things that must happen every day to make sure you get the most out of the performance of your shears. Number one is cleaning. Number two is tension. And tension is so essential to the operation of a shear. So we've had some recent discoveries on proper tension. And one of the things that we found out is that the way we used to do things it actually performs better with a tiny bit more tension. And the reason for that is, is you want really perfectly even tension all the way from the pivot all the way to the tip. So to find that even perfect tension, number one, the shears need to be clean and they need to be lubricated. And we do sh sell a shear care kit that you can purchase that's gonna have everything in it that you need. It's gonna have oil and a little chamois cloth and a little adjuster key. So. Here's what we suggest you do, get them all oiled and cleaned. And then the first step is to actually keep them just a tiny bit loose at first. So maybe one click or one little thumb screw back. So what you're gonna do is hold the thumb and you're gonna take the finger portion and you're gonna bring it up till everything's at about 45 degrees from each other or just where the blades start to connect. And then you drop that finger notice that that moved it went down so that's too loose so we're gonna add one click of tension by turning the adjuster to the right now again hold the thumb lift that finger and that's perfect that's exactly what we want so what we want is we want to be able to open that finger portion and drop and it doesn't move that's perfect tension so if I open it one click it's gonna be too loose one click tighter, as long as it doesn't move, that's exactly where I want it. So again, the importance of this is it keeps really even tension all the way from the pivot all the way to the tip. And that's gonna prevent folding and pushing. Now, if you find that your shears are folding and pushing, even with that adjustment, it could be that you've been using your shears with improper tension for a long time, and it's time to send them in and get serviced. And you can head to the website, hit the customer service tab, and you're gonna find all the information you need to get your shears serviced. If you have any questions on the process, leave them in the comment box below, we'll get back to you, or you're always welcome to cut call our customer advocacy team. And again, the information's on the website for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sandia.